Uh, okay, so in this video, I'm gonna, I've been gone for a second. Uh, I'm just like really busy at this moment in time. But this video is really, really interesting. So just forget about the schedule. Just check back all the time because I plan to get consistent. Honestly, it's just a little bit of a technicality that shall be rectified very soon. But honestly, I want to talk about my hair not growing because I recently checked it when I just did it. Uh, last wash day, which is a couple days ago, so I let it dry. Obviously, it's very, very shrunken right now, so you can't see at all how long my hair is. My hair is down here and down here in the longest layer. I don't know if you can see. It's all the way down my back and my tailbone, but it's just in layers, 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 and I'm really frustrated and angry about that, and I know what the problem is. Why my hair hasn't been growing is because I haven't been moisturizing it and retwisting it at night. That lack of moisture is actually, I really feel like my hair itself is breaking from just a lack of moisture. Like the strands themselves are dry so they rub against each other and break off. And I really believe that is what the problem is. That in addition to not using, not using the inversion method, okay? That is a big, big deal that stopped my hair from going, not doing the inversion method. Praying and bowing my head all the time, I know I made a video about that years ago, is about it's really rushes the blood flow to my scalp, and that's what's been making my hair grow. When I do my inversion method with my bottom prayer, I've been praying a lot, just with my head straight up. I pray all the time, every day, like multiple times, and really, I just do it so frequently that I don't want to do the customary thing, which is to bow my head because I do it so frequently. So I realized that I need to deliberately do the inversion method or just bow when I pray, but I can't do with the bow and the bow with the prayer, so whatever, you know what I'm saying? So really, I just need to do the inversion method lay on my bed, invert my head, bow my head some sort of way forwards or backwards. It really doesn't matter which, which way, which direction you invert your head to do the inversion method, just that you do the inversion method. So a lack of the inversion method plus not twisting my hair up at night and moisturizing it, the moisture is key. It's not about retwisting, it's about keeping it moisturized so that it doesn't break off. And I haven't been doing that. <coughs> that plus, again, the tingling stop oils, which I'll talk about the tingling scalp ones in another video because there are oils that you can use that enhance hair growth. Okay, so this is a major problem for me. I mean, my hair has stopped growing in the past two years. I'm really angry about that. I mean, maybe I should come on and do a length check. I think I will do that, but I'm, I'll be very, very disappointed. I will do a length check because all you need to do is just look at my last length check. Um, I might link that because there's no point in me doing a length check because I have little to no growth. Okay, like little, I got a little bit of growth in the last two years and I'm really upset about that. I know it's because majorly I stopped the inversion method. I mean, that was a big deal with me that I didn't even realize. The inversion method really grew my hair and that's what I stopped doing and that's why it's not growing the way it used to. So I just gotta really keep these things in mind. I love having YouTube videos so I can go back and refer to them. Inversion method, inversion method, inversion method. In addition to moisturizing and retwisting every single night like it's really difficult to do that all the time but i just have to do it all the time so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video at least i know what's wrong right okay later now